brothers and sisters, Trinity de Guzman, coming at you right now from the incredible jungles of Peru. I just finished an absolutely life-changing ayahuasca dieta or ayahuasca retreat. And a dieta is an experience where you have ayahuasca like over a period of eight or ten days. You have it three or four times, so you just go deeper and deeper into the medicine. But before I go into that, like... I'm just sharing my intention first and foremost with you for making this video, which is just to spread word of the medicine because I've never seen anything help so many people so profoundly. And, you know, I've been living in Peru for about a year and I've been sitting with the medicine on a very consistent basis and how it's helped me in my life is so profoundly. And I'll go into that in just a moment, but I'll first explain what is ayahuasca, and then I'll go into my experience with the medicine, you know. And so what ayahuasca is, it's, it's a plant-based, it's a plant medicine from the Amazon in Peru. And tribes have been working with this medicine for thousands of years. And, you know, all over South America, in Ecuador, and Peru, and Brazil, in Venezuela, and Colombia, Primarily, those are the countries where these tribes, and you know, there are countless tribes that have been working with this medicine for, like I said, thousands of years, for really just connecting back to our truth as human beings, as really spirits here for a human experience. And you see, the people and the tribes who used to take this medicine knew that. They remembered their roots in the stars in as spirit as consciousness and they were so much more evolved even though they might look might have looked less evolved technologically as you know we as the cities are but like in terms of like connection to who they really are they were so much more evolved connecting to to the truth of our nature as spirit and you know i keep saying these words and it's like i can only do my best to try to explain this with words without of course you taking the medicine for yourself because you know until you experience the medicine yourself it's this is all just blah 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 but i'm sharing this anyway to do my best to help you and to share the medicine of ayahuasca what it is and how you can experience it yourself because ultimately it doesn't mean anything until you experience it yourself and so what i believe ayahuasca is and i'll explain a little bit more about what it is and how it works is it's a plant medicine based and made out of two different plants and the two plants are ayahuasca and chakruna those are the english names for them or the common names for them anyway and how it works is that you boil so ayahuasca is a vine and chakruna is a leaf and you boil the vine and the leaf, and you make these layers, and then you boil it for like days. You know, five, six, seven days is the average for how long you should cook the medicine for. And then you really concentrate it. So it's a really, so you get the medicine or the active components of the medicine into the tea that's made. And then how it works is that the, the DMT is an active component in ayahuasca. I've made another video about DMT uh, somewhere on my YouTube channel. And the way that it works is that the ayahuasca is an MEO inhibitor and an MAO, something like that, um, inhibitor. And it's so, so the chakruna has the DMT. And when it's combined with ayahuasca, the ayahuasca stops the DMT from breaking down in your body. And then the chakruna, which is the active component that has the DMT, every plant has DMT, even our own brains secrete DMT when we're born, when we sleep, before we die. And what happens is that the MAO inhibitors in the ayahuasca allow the DMT and the chakruna to be absorbed, which is how you get these, the, the effects on the body. Now, this is a scientific explanation of the medicine, but... The medicine is so much more than just a DMT experience. 
You see, because it's really this is my this is my personal belief about it, of course. But I really believe that, you know, you're sitting with a spirit and you're inviting the spirit into your body and the spirit of the medicine of Madre Ayahuasca, they call her mother ayahuasca here in the Amazon, because it really is like a mother, you know, she's nurturing, she provides, she gives exactly what you need. And like and what I mean by she gives exactly what you need is that, you know, whatever you need to heal in your consciousness, whatever is stopping you from being who you're here to be in the world, you know, the highest vibration, the happiest. Imagine yourself in your highest potential, you know, the most loving, the most blissful, the most grateful, the most joyous, the most fun, the most generous, creative, expressive, like whatever the traits are that you see yourself to have in your highest potential, for whatever reason that you're not living it, this medicine will really help clear all the things that are in the way that will allow you to live that. And so with this all being said, like I truly believe ayahuasca is the greatest tool to help us to expand our consciousness in the world. You know, just like yoga and meditation came to the Western world, like however many years ago, the same thing is happening with ayahuasca. And that's why you're hearing about it left, right, and center. More and more people that you know are experiencing it, sitting with it. More and more videos are coming out about it. More and more retreat centers are being opened to share the medicine. You know, and, you know, I personally, <laughs> I'm actually here in the jungle because I had opening ceremony and had our first retreat at the retreat center that I'm helping open. Like, I'm not the one running the land or giving the ceremonies, but I'm just giving my talents to be able to help share the medicine because, like I said, I've never seen anything help so many people so deeply. So what else do I want to tell you about ayahuasca? Like, what is it? How it can help you? It can really just help you heal the things that most importantly need to be healed within you. You know what those are, whatever patterns that those are, whatever beliefs, limiting beliefs, you know, things that we've just acquired growing up and society and from our parents from our friends from our teachers from news from living in the place that we live i truly believe it's our it's our responsibility that if we have the consciousness to want to grow to be able to see these things within us that don't serve us that it's our responsibility to cut the cords of these so that we don't pass them on to future generations, to the new world that's being birthed by us, for us, you know? And yeah, just here to share the medicine. And I really advise you to keep educating yourself. I have a lot of videos on ayahuasca. I, most importantly, I've created a site called ayahuascahealings.com. And you can get a free documentary there about ayahuasca. I've never seen anything express or depict the experience of ayahuasca more powerfully than this documentary and just learn more about it before moving forward you know and trust your intuition that's the most important thing it's only for the people who are serious about their healing and who are really here to like commit to you know letting go of the things that don't serve them to expansion of your own consciousness and to really coming back to truth to love to the heart and if that's the life that you want to live then you know ayahuasca can very well be the most powerful thing that you've ever experienced to help you have more of that so check out the site ayahuascahealings.com it's there for you just as a resource to help you to learn more about the medicine of course we share information on our retreats too but like i said just educate yourself first and from there i send so much love and bless you on your path to just Continue to come back to your truth. Thank you so much. So much love.